What's up guys and welcome to another video. In this video we're going to be taking a look at two devices from RAV Power. These are iOS lightning flash drives that have lightning adapters on one end and a USB type A adapter on the other. This allows you to transfer files to and from iOS devices, Mac OS X and also Windows devices. So it's a very cool tool that allows you to uh, quickly, I might add, transfer files between different systems. Uh, these also both support power pass-throughs, so if you hook these up to a computer and to your either iPad or iPhone, they will send power through it well and charge your devices as, as well as file transfers. You can also stream data, so stream movies, stream music, uh, store photos, back up your contacts, all that kind of stuff with these de devices. Now, these devices change, uh, they're always changing them, so these kind of like almost do the exact same thing they're just two different designs uh, that are out there so let's go ahead and take a look at the first one and this one here is a uh, 64 gig uh, from Rat Power so it's nice aluminum housing here uh, it's got this rubbery uh, u-clip so you can actually take this uh, and bend it and contort it to there you go so you can use this and stick this in your phone and then have this uh, maybe going into uh, a laptop or something um, like that. So pretty cool little design there. Uh, also, this lightning adapter is fairly lengthy. Uh, you can get it into most uh, phone cases uh, without any problems. So I like that. They, they used to be kind of short, and if you had a thicker case on there, you would have difficulties um, getting this to go you know, into your lightning port. Uh, one thing is you're going to get about uh, 80 megabits read and about 30 write uh, with this device. And again, it does pass power and data through. This one is a 64 gig. If you look right here, it does say 64 gig right there. Um, one cool thing also about this is uh, you can copy files to this and not your portable devices. Uh, and just stream off of it. So again, you're saving some space uh, uh, that you would normally use on your iPad or iPhone and you know now you just put it on this and you can stream it directly from it. This is formatted in EXFAT so this works across again multiple OS's so you can plug this into a MacBook, you can plug it into a Windows device, it's going to read it. Since it is EXFAT 4 gig file size is uh, no problem whatsoever, so you can actually deal with large files with this guy. Now, if you want to, uh, you know, which, de which design is basically the best for you? Is it this one here um, that has this little rubbery U-shaped and a little bit larger housing up front? Or this one here that's been redesigned a little bit? Again, this is a 64 gig flash. Uh, for Mac Windows uh, from RAV Power and then here's the actual model number on this bad boy uh, so we'll take a look at this device here so you can see uh, this one has a very lengthy uh, USB type A uh, that it, it's a little longer than the other one this is a magnet instead of that rubber U so you can actually clip this down like so uh, and again it has the extended lightning uh, port here to try to get into those hard to fit cases that you know just have problems uh, Since this is a little narrow here. This one would work a little bit better than this one in fitting like otter boxes uh, and stuff like that uh, those life uh, Life proofs or whatever they are uh, This one here would probably be a better solution if you have one of those bulky cases So anyway guys, let's go ahead and do a quick demo of this and again, both of these are formatted in EXFAT, so they both work with Windows, Mac, and everything. Um, so let's go ahead and do a quick example. So you'll download an app called iPlugMate. And it's available in the Apple uh, Store. So you can actually uh, just go ahead and download it for free. So let's go ahead and plug in this one here to the iPad. Now what's going to happen is it should see this plugin as you can see here a little window pops up and it says I plug mate uh, allow it so we're going to allow it to communicate it launches the app let's go ahead and zoom out just a little bit all right 
and we've got an internal storage for the iPad and we've got an external storage which is this little flash drive over here so if I actually click the external storage it's going to show me everything that is on that flash drive okay and I actually copied I plugged this into a Windows machine and I copied an mp3 file uh, over to this here it is three doors down and if I just click on it we're streaming it from the flash drive, not the iPad itself. It's on the flash drive. How cool is that? You can also do movies uh, and uh, stuff like that. So any kind of streaming media. You can back up your contacts. So if you actually come in here and you hit backup, you can do a phone backup or backup contacts. So you've got a couple options to actually back up some app data um, you know you can copy your photography from here uh, so if you go to photos um, so it says on this the folder is empty but if I go to my iPad I'm going to go ahead and select this picture okay just a basic screenshot and I can actually send it to my iPlug mate let's see Oh, select. Let's select. So I'm going to click that picture and I'm going to copy it to. Uh, and it says external storage backup. But I'm going to do a new folder here and I'm just going to say photos. So this should create a folder on this. There it is. Photos. I'm going to paste it. And it's transferring. So it's basically taking that picture from the iPad's um, local storage and copying it to the flash drive there. Now normally this is a little quicker. This is taking a little longer uh, than I expected for this picture to actually transfer. Um, let's see if we're still transferring. Let's go external storage, photos, and there's our picture. We just copied this picture from our iPad to this device. All right. And again, stream videos, stream music, copy photos. You see how easy it is to do. I basically went to the iPad, camera roll, camera roll. I can select. I can select them like multiples and just start copying them. If I hit plus, new folder if I hit this unselect all and select all and then we just copy it to and we send it to that drive there what a great way to get your photos off of your iPhone and your iPad okay so we've copied that over so I'm gonna go ahead and just I'm gonna close the app here and I'm gonna disconnect and we're gonna go to this guy here and it's gonna be the exact same philosophy on this is that you're just going to plug this in and we'll plug this into the iPhone. So if I plug it in and look, we're going to have a lot of space here. Fits perfectly. Let's go ahead and zoom out a little bit so you guys don't have such a tight fit. Again, the iPhone behaves the same way. We'll go ahead and allow it. Launches the iPlug Mate. And now we have external storage. If I click on it, here is everything that's on here and now let's go ahead and just do a backup so we're gonna back up we're not gonna do the phone we're just gonna back up our contacts and we're gonna click start backup and now we're backing up files have been backed up to data card zero backup context backup BCF and like that I've just backed up all my contacts on my phone to this flash drive so if something happens I'll have that and I'll be able to restore to this flash drive just great little tools guys uh, that you would want to get here they are. Just pick your poison, which one you think is the coolest for you and which one works the best. If you've got those bulky cases, I'd go with this. Otherwise, this one here would probably be best. Um, I don't know. This one's a little thicker, but uh, both equally cool. The designs change all the time. I'll have links in the show notes where you can pick these guys up. 64 gigs of extra space for your iOS devices, compatible across multiple OSs. Gotta love it, guys. Gotta love it. If you love it, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel as always, guys. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.